couple of examples. So a lot of times on these arrow diagrams, okay, this domain, now remember the domain was the set of all the x's, right? So let's just put a few numbers in here and an x. So what is the domain? Is the domain my input or my output? It's the set of all the input. So this is all my input. Okay. Now the range, these are all my y's, right? So let's add some y's in here. So there's a y, um, there's a, a four, a three, and a, a four, and a five. Okay. Now the domain is the relation between these two. It's, it's what takes whatever you put as the input and sends it to the uh, output. So that range, again, let me say this is all the output. Okay. Now I know this might seem conceptual right now, but we're going to look at another diagram in a minute. I think very easily you'll be able to tell me whether it's a function. So the function is actually the thing, the arrows. So the arrows that go from the input to the output, that's actually the function. So these arrows are my functions, and we'll say that's f, function f, usually what we call it. Okay. Now, does this diagram satisfy the fact that for every input, it does not go to more than one output? So if I look at this input as one, and I follow the arrow. Does it only go to one number? Yes. Does that, is that true for every number? Yes. So this is a function. Okay. Let's look at another example. Suppose I give you this. So I'll call this my domain. We usually just by convention put the domain on the left and the range on the right. One, two, three. Um, and let's, present, let's go to A, B, and C. It doesn't have to be numbers. And let's do this. Let's say it goes to A, this one goes to B, and let's say this one goes to B and C. Is this a function? No. Why? Because the 3, if I use 3 as my input here, then 3 gets mapped to or sent to what? B and C. Okay? That violates the definition. This is not a function. See, the reason why we cannot allow this to happen, because we'll learn that a function is a rule. Okay? And we want the output of that rule to always be the same for everybody. But if I allow this to happen and I feed in 3 to the function, I don't know whether I'm supposed to pick the B or the C. I don't know which one to pick. So that's why that cannot happen. So this is not a function. One more example, 3. Suppose I have something like this. Again, my domain and range, I'll shorten it with a D and an R. Um, and let's say one, two, three. And let's go to A, B, and C again. Suppose one goes to A, two also goes to A, um, and three goes to B. Is this a function? Yes, it is. Okay, here's why. This is, the, this is the key part up here. For every input, there's exactly one output. So I look at this input here. My input is one. Does this arrow go to exactly one number? Yeah. Does this arrow go to exactly one number? Yes. And this arrow goes to exactly one number. Now it doesn't matter that these two go to the same. Okay, but they all go, they, each one, there's only one arrow coming out. That's kind of the key idea. 